If you were in Boise today, no doubt many of you were looking up at the sky. Military and civilian planes brought a different kind of thunder to the sky for Idaho's largest ever military air show. Good evening. Thank you for joining us here on the News at 10. I'm Shira Matsuzawa. The Gowan Thunder Air Show took flight from Gowan Field today, and News Channel 7's Jude Binkley spent the day there. Jude, what was it like? Well, it definitely brought the boom, as RJ Tust would say. Uh, Shira, it was a really fun event with a ton of different performers, and this is the second time the Idaho National Guard has hosted the Gowan Thunder Air Show. The last time was in 2017. And this patriotic event is expected to bring more than 150,000 people to Gowan Field. From a P-51 to an Alpha jet and an F-35. Fans got to see cool sights, watching pilots reach new heights at the Gowan Thunder Air Show. When I hear the crowd behind me uh, cheer, it, it just makes me happy to know people are enjoying the event. The Idaho National Guard puts on the show. Colonel Ryan Richardson is the Joint Task Force Commander of Gowan Thunder and says he hopes the community enjoys the event and gets a deeper appreciation for the Guard and what they do. We serve both uh, our federal mission, so defending the United States of America against threats, but our state mission as well. So I hope we're having conversations out in the crowd and people are, are getting the story of, of what the Guard does, and I hope they feel appreciated. More than 150,000 aviation aficionados are expected to be at Gallon Field Saturday and Sunday to see shows like a baseline, 90 degrees to the target. The U.S. Army Golden Knights. From the left, ladies and gentlemen, the Alpha Jet. Give me fuel, give me fire. Local aviator Mark Peterson. And the F-35 demo team, commanded by Major Kristen Beowulf. It's pretty awesome. Um, I think, you know, once the cockpit closes, you're in your own little bubble and habit patterns take over and it gets all about, you know, performing for the public. Once you get airborne, everybody looks like tiny little ants, honestly. Um, so uh, but it's awesome to look down and see, you know, the whole slew of people that are enjoying it. Uh, more awesome to taxi by them and crack the canopy and, and hear the crowd. The free event also has plenty of things to see on the ground, including aircraft and military equipment, all as part of a way for the Idaho National Guard to show their appreciation for the community's support. 80% of our folks that serve in the Guard are, are part-time. So we live and we work in the community. We raise our families here. Uh, so we are the community. And we don't exist without the support of community and uh, employers. So uh, one, we're here to say thank you. Uh, two, we're here to showcase what we do, uh, share our story, and uh, just kind of promote pride and patriotism. And you've still got time if you want to catch the shows. Sure, it all starts at 1030 tomorrow morning, and the air show wraps up around 3. And again, best part, in my opinion, it's a free event. Such a great event, too. All right, thanks, Jude.